Hi there, it's Grandma and I've got a story for you. Now I had a request for somebody who likes those Christopher and Robbie stories. So I've got one. I found one actually in another library, but they let me borrow it. And this one is called It's My Birthday Too. And it's by Lynn Janelle and Petra Mathers. It's My Birthday Too. Mommy frosted a cake. Daddy blew up balloons. Christopher said, Happy birthday to me. It's my birthday too, said Robbie. It is not your birthday, said Christopher. It is mine, and I'm going to have a party. I get to come too, said Robbie. You came last year, said Christopher, and you wrecked everything. I'm bigger now, said Robbie. You are not big enough, said Christopher. You will not know how to play the games. You will sing the wrong words to happy birthday, and you will try to open all my presents. I will only open my own presents, said Robbie. You don't get any, said Christopher. You are not the birthday boy. You're just the brother. Robbie was mad. You're being mean on purpose, he said. If I can't come to your party, then I won't be your brother. Good, said Christopher. I don't want a brother anyway. I'd rather have a puppy. Robbie looked up. Would you let a puppy come to your party? Well, maybe, said Christopher, if he was a very good puppy. He couldn't bite and he would have to obey all my commands. It. Roll over. Play dead. I guess you are well trained, said Christopher, as he scratched Robbie behind the ears. The doorbell rang. Down, boy, said Christopher. How do you like my new puppy, he said to his friends. He's kind of scruffy looking, said Andy. Ew, said Kyle. Doggy breath. Lindsay patted his head. Can he do tricks? Sure, said Christopher. What pup <laughs> puppy? What's on a tree? Bark, bark. And what's on a house? Roof, roof. See, said Christopher, he's smart. Wow, said the kids. At the party, the puppy tried to behave. He did not know how to play the game, so he chewed a shoelace instead. Did, did you have to drool on it, said Christopher? The puppy could not sing happy birthday, but he knew how to howl along. The puppy did not get to open presents, 
but he had a very good time playing with the wrappings. I should have put you on a leash, said Christopher, and he threw the wrappings away. Robbie fetched them. You dumb puppy, said Christopher. If I give you a doggy treat, will you stay out of trouble? Woof, said Robbie, and he leapt onto the table leapt onto the table. He's a bad dog, said Andy. You should swat him with a newspaper. Robbie whimpered. He's not that bad, said Christopher. He's kind of messy, though, said Kyle. Look at the chocolate on his nose. It will wipe off, said Christopher. Robbie wagged his tail, and then he gave a little yip. He says he likes you best, said Lindsay. You're lucky, said Kyle. I wish I had a puppy, said Andy. Ha, huh, said Christopher. Puppies are nothing but trouble. I'd rather have a brother. the end. All right. So another Christopher and Robbie story. He found out that having a brother wasn't so bad. And he always he stood up for him. That's what siblings do. All right. I hope you enjoyed the story. Grandma loves you.